my loaded external reference or xref doesn't display in AutoCAD. Well, that's a very common problem. And if we go to our external reference palette uh, by typing the XR shortcut on our keyboard, we can see over here that we should we're supposed to have this lazy base but we're not seeing our extra here uh, you can see when i click on it um, i can see a tiny tiny object which is here but most of my drawing is missing well look what happened when i click on it and select open extra as you can see this is how my base plan supposed to look which on my base plan i have this xref which is an existing condition or x plan which is here again the problem of the xref not showing up one of the first things i like to do is check um, in what layer this xref is that's one of the first things to do and if we go to our ribbon we can see that it's on the layer A notes. Of course, that's wrong because 100% your XREF is supposed to be on its own layer or on layer zero. So I'm gonna put that back to layer zero just to see whether this fixed the issue, but you can see that it's not fixing it. Our XREF is still missing. So what I like to do is, again, go back to the um, xref by opening clicking and say open xref and here i like to inspect this xref that is not showing up on my external reference palette if i see here i see a difference here where you can see the type of the xref it's set to overlay so we have two types of attaching X reference we have overlay and then we also have attach so and one of the problems of X refs not showing up might be because this is the wrong type so let's see what happened when we change this type from overlay I can click on it and if we go to X ref type again these are the two options that we have so let me change that option to attach. You can see it's changed here on the XREF palette. And now if I save my drawing here on my XREF or my base plan and go to my floor plan where this base plan is, I can reload my XREF by clicking on it. And boom, you can see that now your problem of XREF not showing up was solved so everything is looking pretty good now here on this xref so let me freeze this layer over here which is the demo layer that i don't need it so i'm gonna freeze that out okay great so let me close this drawing and save the changes yes okay so now uh, let me see over here on my file. I'm just going to open the same drawing just to double check. And wait, wait a second. I just froze this layer. Why is this showing up again? Come on, AutoCAD. <laughs> so this is a common problem. So you might be facing this also. Um, so let me give you a solution for this. So what's happening here is that for some reason, um, when we do changes to our XREF, in this case, freezing a layer and saving our drawing and opening back up our same drawing, uh, the changes are not saving. <laughs> so there is a solution for that and it's a system variable. A system variable that <coughs> it's called this retain so if we use this system variable and we can type f1 or 
use the F1 key on our keyboard to bring this AutoCAD help dialog box. We can see that again, this is a system variable that will control uh, how our extras are behaving. So we have two values, zero and one. Uh, one would be the layer changes made in the current drawing take precedent. And that's the option that we want. So now you can see that this system variable is set to zero. So once we change that to one, and now we can start modifying our XREF, maybe freezing some layers like the demo layer that I don't need to show up. And then of course, once I save the changes and open back up my drawing, those changes are still there okay my drawing is looking pretty good let me go to paper space to check over here okay so i have this north arrow is this an xref yes it is but why is this an xref i only have one drawing a floor plan so i don't want this to be an extra so let me bind this so it's not an xref anymore um so I'm gonna go to my extra palette for that. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna, wait, what the heck? Why I cannot bind this extra, this north arrow? It's all grayed out, what the? <laughs> oh my God, Otoka, come on. Fine, nope, it's not working, it's grayed out. Just want to explode this. I want to bind this. I don't need it to be an extra. Okay, again, this is a very common problem in AutoCAD. You cannot bind your extra. And the problem is, I mean, the solution is very simple here. If we check or inspect our extra palette. So let me expand my extra palette so you can see what's going on. You can read better and understand you can see that we have a message here that says needs reloading. So that's why we cannot bind this North Arrow extra that we're having here. And you might have the same problem. So all we have to do is reload our extra. So reload. And then you can see that when I click or click on it, now I have the bind option by wall, which I can click on it. And of course, pick bind on ins or insert. I'm going to click bind and click OK. And boom, now my north arrow is there and it's not an XREF anymore. OK, my north arrow is not an XREF anymore. That's great. Wait, I need a title block here. Where is my title block? OK, I'm going to bring my title block as an extra and i'm gonna use the xa shortcut to attach my title block as an extra uh, the title block is here so i'm gonna click open and i'm gonna click ok to attach it wait what the heck <laughs> why my title block is so tiny it's not autocad come on <laughs> This is again another very common problem where the objects are scaled incorrectly when attaching a drawing as an extra. Hmm. So let me let me undo that with Control Z a couple of times. <laughs> so to give you a solution to this common problem of extras, um we need to inspect what we did by attaching our, our title block again. So I'm going to attach the title block again really quick. And this time I'm going to take the time to stop and read some of these options. So, okay. So scale says one, one. That's fine. Specify on the screen. That's fine. Attachment. Active uh, path. That's fine. The angle. Hey, but here on this block unit section, something is not 
says units inches which is because imperial is my units for this drawing i'm in the us um, so but the factor here says 008333 why why is this a uh, factor here so to understand this what i'm gonna do is cancel this i mean i could change this factor also here but i'm not gonna randomly pick a number here what i'm gonna do instead is go to my units and over here in these drawing units we see there is an insertion scale option here which now is set to feet and that's now because my drawing is supposed to be in inches. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to change that from feet to inches. And once I do that and click OK, when I attach my title block, selecting my title block and clicking OK, you can see that the factor is set now correctly. So now when I click OK, my X-Ref is coming on the correct scale. So at this point, I can simply say 0, 0, and press Enter, and boom, my X-Ref is showing perfectly now. OK, so I inserted in my title block. Great. But wait, I only have... Um, I only X-Ref this title block in one drawing. I don't need more drawings, so I think I'm gonna bind this title block. I don't need it as an XREF. So let me go to my XREF palette, and that's my title block. Great. So I'm gonna bind it, bind, and I'm gonna say bind. I'm gonna click OK, and let's wait. Why is this XREF not binding? This is still an XREF. Come on, AutoCAD. So let me try it again. Bind. Click OK. Hmm. Oh my God, AutoCAD. I just want to bind this title blow. I don't need it to be as an XREF. Hmm. Again, another very common problem. Let me inspect the command line by typing F, by pressing the F2. So it says X lay mode is currently not found, reload or detach before binding. Okay. <laughs> so the problem here is, of course, if you are, if you are new to AutoCAD, you don't know what the heck AutoCAD is referring to. <laughs> but the problem is that there is another file being XREF on this title block. And to inspect that, or let's up, um, click on our XREF that we cannot bind. And let's open our XREF. And you can see here that we have something missing here on this title block. So if we go to our XREF palette, here we go. There is a drawing or an XREF that is missing here. So the question is, do I need this? And the answer is no, I don't need this XREF North on this title block. So I'm gonna simply detach it by clicking on it and hit detach. So once I do that and close and save my title block, and of course reload this title block, let me try it again to bind my title block. So I'm gonna click on it say bind and bind one more time let's click let's select it and great this is not a um, um an extra anymore this is a block reference that if i want i can explode it if i don't now that you fix your extras let me help you extra like a pro with these tips